are live. Okay, I got a question for you. Are you wanting more money or money at all to get your real estate deals funded? I don't care if you are a new real estate investor and you're struggling to still get your first deal funded or if you're a wholesaler and you've received some assignment fees and you want to stay in some deals but you haven't had the funding or maybe you're a seasoned real estate investor and you just want more funding for your deals but you're tired of hard money lenders or traditional funding well I got great news for you right here on free coaching Friday I'm getting ready to plug you into the money right now for your real estate investing deals regardless of your experience how long you've been doing it and etc well before I plug you into the money in fact I got a free book that I'm gonna ship to you before I tell you about that, let me welcome you all to Free Coaching Friday. Well, what in the world is Free Coaching Friday? Well, we talk all things about real estate investing, particularly getting deals funded and finding deals here on Free Coaching Friday. And if you're brand new to Free Coaching Friday, my name is Jay Connor here in Moorhead City, North Carolina. My wife and I, Carol Joy and I, we've been investing in single family houses all the way back to 2003. So, uh, wow, like uh, 18 years we've been doing this business. And from 2003 to 2009, uh, we relied on local banks and mortgage companies to uh, fund our deals. And uh, in January 2009, I picked up this telephone right here, called my banker. I'd had this conversation many times with my banker. His name was Steve. And I learned in that conversation, I had two deals under contract when I called him up. And I learned in talking with Steve that I had lost my lines of credit like that. Well, it wasn't because I had bad credit. It wasn't because I had a bad relationship with the bank. In fact, I'd been doing business with Steve for six years. And, had, and he had funded many deals for me. Well, at that time, and you probably know, we had a global financial crisis going on all around the globe. And it's like the spigot turned off overnight. Unbelievable. So I knew I had to find a better and a quicker way. Well, my definition of coincidence is God's way of staying anonymous. And in less than two weeks, I was introduced to this world of private money and private lending. And since that time, in January of 2009, I have not missed out on a deal because I did not have the funding. And so I want you to experience the same thing. Now the title of this free coaching Friday is how to spot a private lender scam. How to spot a private lender scam. And the reason I want to give you the clue, there's one clue, there's one major clue that will tell you that somebody is getting ready to scam you uh, with private money or supposed private money that exists that really doesn't. And, uh, and I want you to be aware of that. I mean, in traveling the nation, you know, since 2011, uh, showing other real estate investors how we do this business with private money, I have heard nightmare stories from other real estate investors as to how they got scammed with somebody uh, that was, you know, supposedly getting ready to fund a deal. But I'll get to that in just a few minutes. First, I want to get you plugged into the money. I told you I got a free book I'm going to send you. So this Free Coaching Friday is all about where to get the money, honestly, ethically, from people that you can trust, and where not to try to get the private money from, right? Two very important distinctions. But first, I always love to know who in the world is, uh, and I mean the world, we have people tuning in to Free Coaching Friday from all over the world. I love to know where people are tuning in from. So right now, whether you're watching on the live stream or you're watching the replay, we get a ton of people watching the replay as well, I want to know where you are from, what's your name, of course we see your name when you type in the comments, but where you're from, and uh, again, whether you're on the live stream right now or you're watching the replay, I want to know where you're from. So there is Scott Veach, one of our Platinum and Mastermind members all the way from Alabama. And i got to raise up because I can't see. And i got to put my glasses on now. We have got, um, oh, Andre or Andre from the Dominican Republic. 
my lands all the way from the Dominican Republic. Welcome to Free Coaching Friday. Again, I want everybody to type in. There's a bunch of you on live right now. Where are you tuning in from? Again, that works whether you're watching the live stream or you're watching the replay. Um, after you type in where you're from, right? Um, of course, you know, when you like something, when you learn something here on Free Coaching Friday, you're going to give me a thumbs up. So right now, let's make sure you know where the thumbs up button is. Right now below the video, hit the uh, blue like button and send me a sea of likes across the screen right now. Lots of likes, lots of likes. Come on, Scott, send me some likes. I know you got some likes for me. And right after that, I need some red hearts. Send me a bunch of red hearts. So whenever you love something that I share with you here on Free Coaching Friday today, send me a bunch of red hearts. I see some blue thumbs up coming across the screen right now anyway. Okay, so I've got this gift for you that I want to ship to you. This is where you get private money honestly and ethically and legally. Then after I show you this, I'm going to show you, as I just said, where to be aware that someone is getting ready to scam you in private money, okay? So where can you get it honestly and ethically and very, very quickly? Well, right here. Hey there, Angela, all the way from Anderson, South Carolina. Welcome to Free Coaching Friday, Angela. Angela. So here, this book, Where to Get the Money Now, all right? Uh, subtitle, How and Where to Get Money for Your Real Estate Deals Without Relying on Traditional or Hard Money Lenders. Right? This book it was in the top books when it was released a few months ago on Amazon under the category of real estate investing. Well, don't go to Amazon and spend money on it. All right? You can go to Amazon and give me some awesome reviews. That would be pretty cool. right? But I will give you the book. Uh, for free, uh, just cover a couple of books for uh, a couple of bucks for shipping and handling. Um, and in fact, uh, Scott, since you're on here with me, go ahead and type in the comment bar for me, Scott, if you're still on. Where people, uh, how people can get this book for free. And here's the URL, folks. It's www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash Friday. Again, Scott or somebody, type that in the comment bar for me. www.jayconner, J A Y C O N N E R.com forward slash Friday. And that will take you uh, right there to the, um, to the website where you can claim this book for free. What are the highlights in this book? Well, the book is not that long. I mean, it's got right at 160 some pages. But this book will show you step by step the five steps on how to locate private lenders in three different categories, all right? One of those is your own connections, your own network. It also shows you how to locate existing private lenders right in your own backyard, in your own area, right? That's the private lender data feed that I talk about. Um, and so there's, when I was cut off from the banks, as I just shared with you, um, I, um, I put together this system. There's five steps of getting the private money. Let's make sure you understand that what I'm talking about on private money. Private money is not hard money. It's not broker money. It's not bank money. It's not mortgage money uh, from traditional lenders. Private money is doing business with individuals just like you. They loan you, as a real estate investor, they loan you money from their investment capital or, and or from their retirement accounts. So my book goes into the details of how to work with self, people that have self-directed IRAs and they can loan you money from their self-directed IRA. So I want to get this book in everybody's hand that has any interest in real estate investing because this, this, this book, this key, this is the key to never missing out on deals. Now look, I know that a lot of you have had training on buying houses on terms or the pretty house business. And guess what? Carol Joy and I do that as well. I just bought one the other day subject to the existing note. But what I have discovered is that most people, like 87% of for sale by owners, off-market houses, what do they require? They require all the cash, right? 
So if someone's got a mortgage or they own a house free and clear, obviously the first thing that I'm going to negotiate, uh, or my acquisitionist is, Kim, she's been with us for years, if it's got a mortgage, and I want you to write this down, if someone's got a mortgage on their house, that should trigger you, that should trigger you to negotiate buying that house subject to the existing note, all right? Leaving that note, leaving that mortgage in their name, and then you just take over the payments. That's not doing an assumption. The bank's got nothing to do with any kind of approval process. That's just a, an agreement between you and the seller. They leave the note in their name, the mortgage, you agree to make their payments, and they transfer ownership over to you. Now, if they own the house free and clear, that should trigger you to negotiate them selling to you as seller financing. That is, they take a note, you give them a note, and they make monthly payments. But we know in the real world, the majority of the people are going to require all the cash, right? And that's where the private money comes in. So, I would need your help. Everybody here on Free Coaching Friday, whether you're watching live right now, or you're watching the, li or you're watching the replay, I need your help. Do this one thing for me right now, and that is tap or press or push your share icon right below your video right now. Better than that, put a comment in there along with it as well uh, when you're sharing it. But I need your help in sharing this free book, Where to Get the Money Now, out to all of your connections. I know birds of the same feather flock together. And so I know you got some friends that are real estate investors as well. So if you would do me that favor, since I am offering this book for free, hit your share icon and help me uh, get this word out. All right, there you have that. Now, if you like, if you like the free book offer, send me a bunch of hearts right now. Whether you're watching on the live stream or the replay, if you like the free book offer, send me a bunch of love right now here on Free Coaching Friday. Whether you're live or watching the replay, send me some hearts. Okay, let's go ahead and answer this question right now. Let's answer this question. How do you spot? How do you like immediately recognize a what what is probably a private money scam? It's simple, folks. It's simple. And here's the answer. When you have a, a an individual, a company, whatever, when you have someone that is posing as a or saying they are a private lender or even they maybe they're saying there's a hard they are a hard money lender right here's the catch if they ask you to send them any money whatsoever i don't care if it's fifty dollars application fee hundred dollar application fee um two thousand dollar processing fee i don't care what they call it. That is all signs of a scam right there. So first of all, I don't I don't even I mean and this book will keep you out of that world. I promise you, you do private money the way I teach you in this book. Again you can get it at J Connor J A Y C O N N E R dot com forward slash Friday. This book will keep you out of that danger of someone, get, uh, someone posing themselves as a private lender uh, and asking you for money up front to even, even before you find out if you're approved. I mean, you see, they, these scam artists, they do it in, in more than one, uh, they do it different ways. They may ask you for some kind of money, some kind of application fee, some kind of, you know, uh, processing or whatever. Um, so, uh, Andre, uh, they're in the Dominican Republic. Man, I wish I had this book in the digital form, but I used a, uh, the book publisher that published this book um, would not allow me to offer it digitally, and I apologize for that. I promise you the next book I come out with, whenever that is, um, it will be a different publisher because the, they, I, don't, I don't even have that option to do a digital copy. So, unfortunately, Andre... We just got to ship it. We'll mail it to you to the Dominican Republic. <laughs> so anyway, back to spotting these scam artists. So they will ask you for money as a real estate investor in different stages, okay, in different stages of the process. 
They may ask you for money of a, a, in the form of an application fee before they even like say we'll, we'll fund your deal. But most of the time, here's what they do. They'll have you send information about the deal. They'll have you send information about you know yourself or your company or whatever. And they'll say, don't worry, it doesn't matter if you've never done a deal. We fund deals for brand new you know, real estate investors and all that mess, right? As my granddaddy would say, it's a bunch of hogwash. So here's what they'll do most of the time. So watch for this. What they will do is say, we have approved your deal. We've approved your deal and we need to get it to the final stage of underwriting before we wire the funds for closing. All right, that's the big red flag. And then they may ask for as much as, you know, a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, twenty-five hundred bucks for you to wire to them, for them to finish processing, get it to their underwriting department, underwriting department that doesn't even exist, right? And then they're going to wire you the funds. Well, let me tell you a little secret here. Guess what? If you do that. You wire them funds or send them money before they, at any point in time, here's the deal. If you wire money, if you wire money to a supposed private lender, I mean, to begin with, the money's going in the wrong direction. Private lenders wire money to your real estate attorney. You don't ever, you don't, hey look, you don't start sending any money to a private lender until after the deal is closed, right? You don't send any money. I, I, you don't send any money to a hard money lender, all right? You don't send any money to a private lender. You don't send any money to any lender, okay? Before you purchase the house, period, right? So, I mean, you are that money to a supposed hard money lender or a private lender before you purchase that house, guess what? They will disappear into thin air like magic. I mean, you'll reach out to them, they're not responding. I mean, they are like gone, right? And you just got scammed, right? So how is private money supposed to work in the right way, legal, ethical, honest, everything above board? Here's the way it works. Whether you have attracted these private lenders into your world or not, okay? So somebody just shared something here, maybe a, a story here. Yeah, Elaine. Hey, Elaine. Good to see you. Sorry, I had to lean up here to get my glasses on. Uh, Elaine says, I get email all the time, 100% financing. There you go. If somebody's emailing you offering 100% financing, you know it's a scam, right? They're not looking for money. Is that a scam? How, how can they do that? Here's what I want you to do, Elaine. I want you to forward one of those emails that you've got. I want you to forward one of those emails that you have received offering you 100% financing, and, and I want to review it. In fact, I'll review it. I'll come back here on the next Free Coaching Friday, and I will dissect that email that you've received. Here's the email address I want you to send it to, Elaine. Send it to uh, my assistant here at the office, Ashley, Ashley Jacks. Her email address is A-S-H-L-E-Y, Ashley, at jayconner.com, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com. Forward one of them emails, Elaine, and, uh, and, we'll, and, we'll, uh, and I'll get it reviewed and give a report back to everybody here on Free Coaching Friday. But how is, how, what's the right way for private money to work? Well, here's the deal. Whether you've attracted them yourself, okay, or they were referred to you, or whatever. The way it works is no, they send the money. They send the money. Now, by the way, Elaine, 100% financing, when we do private money deals, we always get 100% financing. We always get 100% financing, but we get that, and, and we always borrow more than we need to buy the house. But we're doing that business with people that we know, and we're not sending them again. We're not sending them any money up front, right? So here's the way it works, the right way that everybody's protected. You have a deal. You got, you got a house that you want to buy. 
you got it under contract, your real estate attorney checks the title, right? You know exactly what the funding uh, that you need for the deal, okay? And right before closing, you have your, you instruct your private lender, uh, or your, actually your real estate attorney will send your private lender wiring instructions for the private lender to wire the money to your real estate attorney or your title company, whoever's doing your closing. Now here the money comes in, the money comes in, all right? Now your real estate attorney's got it. Now the closing happens. You close on the deal. Now since you borrowed more than you're gonna to need to purchase the house, you're gonna bring home a check, right? Particularly if you've got a rehab involved. Now, your personal private lender, not a hard money lender or, or broker or institutional money, but your personal private lenders, they don't get any money from you, period. They don't get any money from you until you start making payments, if you're making payments. You know, we can structure deals different ways. We can make, you know, sometimes the private lender needs monthly payments. Of course, if we're making payments, it's always interest only. It's always interest only payments. That's a win for the private lender. That's a win for you. It's a win for them because they make more money because they're keeping all of their principal uh, invested with you until cash out and you sell the house. And it's a win for you because interest only payments are you know smaller than principal and interest. It helps your cash flow. So the private lender doesn't get any money. Uh, this is and this is one you know private lender in your own network. They don't get any money until you start making payments and you cash them out. Now, let's say you borrowed hard money, okay? Let's say you borrowed uh, from a conventional lender, all right? Now, again, they don't get any money. They don't get any money until you close the deal. Now, if it's a traditional lender or a hard money lender, they are gonna be charging points, right? They're gonna be charging origination fees, same thing. Points, origination fees, same thing. You may be paying 2%, right? But whatever they charge, and then of course, we've got, they've always got these fees called junk fees, right? They call them different things like processing fee, uh, application fee, underwriting fee. I mean, let your creativity go wild and you got all kinds of fees that they'll have that they're collecting. But here's the catch, right? The traditional or hard money lenders they get paid from the real estate attorney. That's a writer downer right there. You don't pay them, well you are paying them. It's coming, it's being deducted from your proceeds from your real estate attorney's uh, closing. So, so here's the, here's the, here, so follow the money. Follow the money, here's, here's how the money goes, all right? The traditional or hard money lender wires the money to your closing agent, to the real estate attorney, for the purchase of this property, okay? Now you have the closing, all right? Now, since you borrow more than you need uh, to buy the house, then you should get a check. You should get a check after closing. Um, now, if it's a hard money lender, a traditional lender, then you're going to have to bring some money to the table. You may have to, like, get some private money in second position or whatever, because the hard money lender, traditional lender, is not going to fund 100% of the deal. They're just not. They might fund 80% of the deal, but you gotta come up with a different, that different 20% uh, or whatever it's missing. But as far as how do they get paid? They get paid from your real estate attorney. They get paid from your closing agent. When I say closing agent, real estate attorney, same thing, because your closing agent might be a title company. So they're going to get paid. They're going to get their application fee and processing fee and underwriting fee and all that. And all that's disclosed on the HUD settlement statement. All that's disclosed. And you, you should see what all those fees are before you go to closing. But again, here's the bottom line. Let's don't, let's don't complicate this. It's simple. And here's the simple thing for you to understand. You will know and you will spot a private lender scam if they ask you or and or require you to send any money to them prior to your real estate attorney closing the deal. That's it. That's it. So my advice is never, as in one more time, never send money up front to 
to uh, you know the lender. I mean, they're they're in the business of lending money, so they're going to lend the money. They get paid after the deal is closed. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, wow, we've been going almost thirty minutes here on Free Coaching Friday. Hey, let me let me let me ask you to tell me something. So, if you learned something at all in this Free Coaching Friday, this works whether you're watching the replay or you are watching. Uh, live on the live stream, type in the comment bar right now. I love it. I love it. So let's see here. Scott says there are several companies that call themselves private lender, but they only fund 90% of purchase and require, uh, let's see here, and they require, that's a long message there, Scott, and they require, what are you saying here? They require pre-qualification with credit checks, must have good store uh, scores, and they want two months worth of bank statements this does not sound like private lenders to me, more like hard money lenders. Is the term private lender ambiguous? Is use of the term private lender not regulated in the industry? Scott, that's the best question I've been asked today. You're exactly right. The term private lender is defined differently by different people. All right? so, so hard money lenders or traditional lenders a lot of times will call themselves private money lenders. And no, the term private lender is not regulated within the industry. I mean, it's like, it's like these terms like fly all around, right? So a hard money lender may call themselves a private money lender. And here's why they do that. The reason they do that is, first of all, they want it to sound like it's real easy money, right? But in essence, they really are. They really are loaning out private money. They're, these hard money lenders are loaning money. They go raise money, right? So the, and I've got great friends that are hard money lenders and brokers uh, that are ethical and honest and, and, and all above board, right? Um, <laughs> just doing the business this way is going to save you a lot of money and put you in, in control and that kind of thing. But... When these hard money lenders call themselves private money lenders, they really are. They're loaning private money, but what did the, what did they do, right? And again, there's nothing illegal about this. It's just a more expensive way for you to do business, right? But what they do is they go out and raise private money from private lenders, individuals, all right? And they have these individuals, private money lenders, invest in a fund. And they'll have different kinds of funds, right? So, and, and those funds have to be approved by the security, uh, by the SEC, the Security Exchange Commission, right? I mean, to get one of those, it's called a private placement memorandum. And uh, for them to get one of them approved, I mean, they're going to they're going to spend thirty or fifteen to thirty thousand dollars with an SEC attorney to even get that in place to where they can offer individuals to invest in the fund. So, back to your question, Scott. And by the way. Anybody, if you got if you got some questions here on Free Coaching Friday, go ahead and type them in the question bar. And I'm, I mean, I'm not under under the deadline. I don't have the like shutter down right now. If anybody's got a question, I'll do my best to get it answered right now. Just type it in the comment bar. And look, if you're watching the replay, you got a question, type your question in the replay, and and I'll still answer questions. It just won't be live. I'll be typing them in the comment bar. So in our world, Scott. Uh, private lenders are defined as the individuals, mom and pops, individual people that we are doing business with directly. And by the way, Scott, I want to take my hat. Oh, if I had a hat, I oh, I'd take it off. But I want to congratulate you, Scott. Listen, folks, Scott just did. Thank you for the thumbs up. In fact, folks, if you're loving, if, if you're learning anything, send me a bunch of uh, thumbs up and a bunch of love right now. And then better yet, Type in the comment bar. I love it. But I want to congratulate you, Scott. I want to congratulate you. Uh, Scott did a webinar uh, just this week. Scott did a webinar just this week. And on the webinar, I had some fantastic guests. And, uh, the, and, the, and the purpose of Scott doing that webinar was to teach people in his warm market that he has an association with to teach them what private money is and what private money is all about and to teach them the private lending program. And my land, Scott, you already got people texting you before the webinar was over, I think, saying, uh, hey, I got, you know, so many hundred thousand dollars over here, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, you did a fantastic job uh, on that webinar, Scott. I was, um, I was excited to attend that with you. 
But yeah, the definition in, in, in our world here, in our world here, the, the definition of a private lender is we're doing business directly with the person, not a company, not an institution, not a bank. We are doing business with the person individually that is loaning our LLC, our entity, the money. And a hard money lender, most of the time, the definition of that, a hard money lender is a broker of money. So the hard money lender is like the middle person, if you will. The hard money lender will go, borrow, will go raise money, right? And as I say, I got, a, I got a lot of friends that are in that business. And they raise the money, they get the money in the fund. So those private lenders will not be getting a, an individual note and an individual deed of trust or mortgage like we give them, right? I mean, you all know this. When we're borrowing money as a real estate investor directly from the private lenders, right? Then we're going to give them a promissory note, and these documents are prepared by our real estate attorney, by your real estate attorney, right? And they're going to get a that real estate's going to collateralize the note, right? So we're not borrowing unsecured money. Now, when a hard money lender goes out and raises money for a fund, then the security that the private lender has that's investing in that fund, the security they have are the documents. So they're not getting a mortgage. You know, in our world, our private lenders, they can foreclose on the properties that we do if we don't pay them. And you know, a lot of times I get questions from uh, new real estate investors. They say, well, Jay, who's going to loan me money and I've never done a deal? Who's going to loan me money and I've never done a deal? Well, here's the answer to that question. If you don't pay the private lender, the property does. There's the answer right there. You see, the reason private lenders loan us money on our deals is because we are collateralizing that note. Private money is a collateral deal, right? And by the way, just so you understand, the private lender does not own the property. Okay, we're not doing joint venture deals. The private lender does not own the property. Uh, you own the property. Your company, your LLC, your land trust, whatever entity you're using, you own the property. All right? Well, I don't see any other questions coming in right now here on the live stream. So I really loved hanging out with y'all here on another free coaching Friday. We got a lot of people here right here on the live stream that are tuning in. And uh, if you enjoyed Free Coaching Friday here today, right now in the comment bar, type in, I love it. Now I'm gonna scroll up and just make sure I'm not missing any comments. Uh, on my lens, I'm missing a ton of comments. Mercy. We got Crystal Coleman. Hey, Crystal. Uh, Andre, on my lens, uh, I don't even know how I pronounce, I-O-H-A-N. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know how to uh, say I love it. Angela, I love it. Oh, here's some questions. Here we go. Penny. Penny Justman. Here we go, Penny. How many fees are acceptable for normal course of business? Okay, fees. Penny, that's like a fantastic question, Penny. How many fees are acceptable or normal course of business? Well, here's the deal. It depends on where you're borrowing the money from. When you're borrowing money, Penny, from and it, from a private lender, I mean a true private lender, not a broker, not a middle person, okay? When you're borrowing money directly from a private lender or private lenders, there are zero fees, all right? There are zero fees, and, and here's the deal. You see, there's three categories of, of where you get private money. There's people in your own warm market, um, at my upcoming live event, the Private Money Academy Conference. Um, I'm going to be having a whole networking session uh, at the conference on, um, on how to grow your warm market, how to network. Networking is very important. And the third category are existing private lenders. Okay, So when you're doing business directly with individuals that are not institutions, there are no fees. No origination fees, no points, no nothing. Right? That's one beautiful thing about private money. 
Again, if you just joined the live stream, uh, let me ship my book to you. Uh, the book is free, a couple of bucks uh, for shipping. But you can get it at www.jayconner.com forward slash Friday. And I'll ship this book out to you. This will teach you exactly how I do business and locate uh, individuals, private vendors. Now, penny, fees. If you are borrowing money from a hard money lender, really the bottom line answer is what's acceptable, it's whatever you're willing to accept. But, I'll, and, but you, the other part of your question here is, or normal course of business. So let me tell you what would be like normal course of business. For sure, no more than two points. No more than two points or the origination fee would be two points. Now, how do you calculate points? Well, a point, okay, a point is, every point is 1% of the amount of money you're borrowing, okay? So, if you're borrowing $100,000, okay, one point would be $1,000 in origination fees. If it's two points, $2,000. Three points, $3,000. And again, that's borrowing $100,000. If you're borrowing $200,000, um, you know, one point is $2,000. Two points is four, and three points is $6,000, right? So, normal course of business is going to be right around two points, right? Now, I've got some good friends that are hard money lenders that will charge three points, right? But I really don't know any that are, that are doing less than two points. Now, that's not going to, now, Penny, that's not going to be the only fees, okay? That's not going to be the only fees that are on there. We're going to have these other fees that they'll call by all kinds of names. Underwriting fee, processing fee, application fee, and they'll have them line item. All those other fees, okay, should not exceed another 1%. At the very high end, right? Like I'll see, under, I'll see underwriting fees that are like 600 bucks, right? Uh, application fee, maybe 200, 300 bucks. Again, you're not paying any of that, folks. Never, 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 you're not paying any of that prior to you purchasing the property at closing and your closing agent or real estate attorney then pay or deducts that from the proceeds and sends that money back to whoever's loaning the money. So Penny, that's an excellent question. You're doing business directly with private lenders, no fees, okay? Uh, institutional, two points, and then no more than another 1.01% for all these other fees. All right, so I got more questions and comments coming in here. Let me scroll up and see what we got. Uh, Scott Beach, I love it. Penny, love it. Joel, thanks. My land's Joel. Welcome to uh, Free Coaching Friday. Not sure I've seen you here before. Um, oh, yeah, Scott says Penny had a question. Thank you. Joel loves it. Chuck Stevens says, thanks, Jay. Love it. Wow, thanks, everybody. Again, we're going to have, uh, like, thousands of people. We always have thousands of people watch the replays of these Free, Co free Coaching Fridays. So, again, if you're watching the replay, type your questions in. I'll get you. I'll, I'll, I'll type back the answers to you. And um, let's see, who just typed in here? Mark and Wanda. Love it. Learning a lot. Hello there, Larry. My Lance, Larry. Good to see you again. Glad to have you on, Larry. And uh, just one last time before I wrap it up, uh, if you just tuned in, I am giving away my book, right, Where to Get the Money Now. It's all about raising private money. Uh, and you can get it at Jaycon. In fact, somebody that's on here right now, somebody that's on here, anybody that's live right there, who is saying hi? I got a bunch of people coming in right now. Hey there, Ted, my land's Ted. Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome to Free Coaching Friday. Somebody do me a favor and type in the comment bar right now the URL where people can get the free book. Type in the comment bar www.jayconner.com forward slash Friday. Somebody type that in the comment bar for me so everybody can see that when they come on. All right, folks. God bless you. Enjoyed hanging out here with you on another Free Coaching Friday. And uh, Larry says it is a great book, very valuable, and a great read. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate that feedback. I do my best to make all the training uh, just as easy to understand as possible. And uh, let's see here. Mark says, Mark read this book. 
Let me see here. I can't, I can't see. Mark read this book. And you read this book in one night, Mark. <laughs> uh, you read 160 some pages in one night. Well, either you were very, very interested or I was very, very easy to understand or who knows, Mark, maybe both. All right, folks, y'all have a fantastic rest of your day. Um, love hanging out with you here on Free Coaching Friday. One more time, I'm going to ask you before I wrap up. Right now, whether you're watching the live stream or you're watching the uh, replay, do me a favor and help me spread the word and just tap your share icon below the video. Y'all have a fantastic day, and I look forward to hanging out here with you on the next Free Coaching Friday. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority. Coming to you live from Moorhead City, North Carolina, wishing you all the best. Here's to taking your real estate investing business to the next level. And we'll see you right here on the next Free Coaching Friday.